What's going on my Jack brother? Coach Scott here. We're about to kick off 2023. You've likely set some resolutions and some goals that you want to achieve this year. Today's video, we're going to talk about how to design your lifestyle in a way that's not only going to allow you to uh, achieve those goals, but really set you up for long-term success and a lifetime of growth. We're going to do this vlog style, so you're going to see every meal I eat for the day, footage from my training, my overall active lifestyle, how I design my lifestyle in a way that allows me to achieve what I want to get out of life, allowing me to live my life to the fullest with confidence, pride, zest, and vitality. I hope you enjoy this let's get to it as always I woke up just before 5 30 a.m. not because some guru said it is the best productivity hack but because it is natural for me it always has been as a kid I would jump out of bed go downstairs have my breakfast get in the shower get dressed all within 20 minutes so I can dive into my morning cartoons there now as an adult wake up jump out of bed pour myself two cups of coffee, a little bit of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk in there. Uh, Chance Coffee House uh, went there the other day with my buddy Joe, grabbed some beans from there. Absolutely freaking delicious. I think it's a Honduras blend. Like there's fruity flavors in there. It's just, it's a really, really good blend there. And I immediately dive into my work. Again, not because it's a productivity hack for someone else, but because it is the most productive time of day for me. I am just invigorated first thing in the morning. My brain is firing on all cylinders. There are no inputs coming from everywhere else, whether it's social media, the news or anything like that. I am, it's all, instead of being reactive to what's going on around me, it's me being creative. So I guarantee I get more done in that hour and a half than most people do in an entire day of work because it is distraction free, um, not just from everything else going on around me, but in my mind as well. I'm just laser focused on what needs to get done. And then it is time for my break, my breakfast shake here. Uh, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla cashew, milk, an ass of spinach, a banana, a scoop of protein powder. Along with that, I have my supplements here. And after this, I get out for my morning walk, which we're going to get to in a bit. But again, this is again, designing my lifestyle in a way, starting my day in a way that is true to myself, that's going to allow me to thrive uh, in all aspects of life. I love getting most of my work done before midday so I can enjoy other activities that bring great joy to my life. That was an absolutely gorgeous morning walk my furry homie Chiefy Dog. Definitely brisk out there, but we loved every second of it. Again, I don't get out there on these morning walks because I'm trying to hit a certain step count or trying to get myself into some sort of fat burning zone. I get out on these morning walks because it puts me in tune with what makes me tick. I absolutely love being out in nature. I love listening to the birds, observing the wildlife. I love soaking up a sunrise. All of this just fills me with an overwhelming sense of gratitude to begin my day. Uh, really nice this morning, Chief. Um, he got a little bit of snow stuck between his paws, so it kind of forms a little ice ball in there. So he lied down on the ground while I was trying to dig it out. A woman stopped in her car, asked if we needed any help, which is just, just a simple, kind gesture like that. Just really, really made me appreciate that there are great people out there who are looking out for us. I mean, again, so if you ever see someone in need, just a simple gesture, just offer a kind word of help, a nice helping hand can really go a long way. Right now, I am ready to pour my heart and soul into another minute, not another 90 minutes of deep work. Consistency is a superpower. Day-to-day -day willpower is incredibly rare. Lou Gehrig was a solid position player and a good hitter but his success really was rooted in the fact that he didn't miss many days of work. You don't have to always be amazing. You do always have to show up. What matters is sticking around for the next at bat. I absolutely freaking love that. That is Brian Johnson from Heroic covering a philosopher's note on one of Ryan Holiday's books. I uh, absolutely love Ryan Holiday's collection, uh, all the stoic wisdom in there. But one of the ways I design my lifestyle to set me up for success, not just in getting lean and staying lean, but in all aspects of my life is to fill my mind with positive self-growth information, wisdom on a daily basis throughout my day. Simple, when I'm getting shaved and getting in the shower here to listen to something that is going to move me forward. There's just so much negativity out in the world, whether it's the news, social media, our own thoughts. Like it's crazy to think that most of our thoughts are negative thoughts throughout the day. Casting self-doubt on ourselves, whether it's in your fat loss journey here, thinking about times in the past that you've tried to lose fat and, and failed to, to achieve your goal, or maybe you achieved your goal and gained it all back and just dwelling on that um, can really hold you back when you can fuel your mind with positive information that's going to help you move 
forward to really nourish the everything that you have within you. Like we have everything we need within us to achieve our goals. And this just kind of brings it out and gets us more in tune with our true selves, like bringing out the best, expressing the best versions of ourselves. So I encourage you to fuel your mind, whether it's reading a book, listening to an audio book, um, listening to a podcast, anything that's going to uh, provide your brain, your mindset with the information, the wisdom that's going to really spark that desire for you to express the best that you have within you. I just got out of a freaking incredible hot yoga class. Now, at the beginning of 2022, I set the intention that I wanted to improve my mobility, my flexibility. So I started watching some YouTube videos, just some short 10, maybe 15 minute YouTube videos on just some gentle stretching like pigeon pose, frog pose, uh, child's pose, just some basics to really start opening up my hips and get me feeling better. Uh, and then my kids got me a birthday gift back in September, uh, 10 classes at this uh, Moto Hot Yoga, and I got completely freaking hooked on it. Not just on uh, how much better it allows me to melt into these stretches with um, with the heat in the room and everything, uh, but just really how it's exposed a lot of my muscle imbalances, muscle weaknesses, but more than anything, the, the body awareness, that mind-muscle connection uh, it's so different like with bodybuilding it's all about creating tension with yoga it's about softening it's it really is but both of them are about body awareness just really um being in tune with our body through all of the movements there so um it's been a really freaking blessing to me and in the beginning my intention was to just do it like two maybe three times per week uh and then i just like i said i got hooked and i wanted to do it more and more and more so in order to design my lifestyle in a way that allows me to fit that into my schedule i've had to kind of cut back on some of my weight training sessions. So instead of like five days a week of weight training, I'll do four days per week of weight training. Uh, and again, when it came to uh, the beginning of the year, when I was just watching the YouTube videos, I was doing it at the end of the day as a great way for me to wind down and get a great night's sleep. And there's sometimes when I'll do a hot yoga class in the evening to help me wind down. It's a yin class that just allows you to relax into those deep stretches. Whereas today, um, I'm doing this class as a great warm up for the leg workout that I'm about to do. So it was a, a moto class, so a little bit more uh, movement, transition, some stretching but really uh, kind of lubricates the joints and gets me ready for a great, this yoga practice gets me ready for a great workout practice. So um, again, designing my lifestyle in a way that both the yoga and the bodybuilding complement each other while bringing out the best in me, which this is really all about. I absolutely freaking owned that leg workout. Probably the best workout I have had, I bet six to eight weeks just in the zone. I think that is one of the great benefits of doing a workout right after yoga is that body awareness, that mind muscle connection, just the, again, no distractions. There's no thoughts from work or anything else going on through my mind other than being in tune with my body and giving the absolute best of myself to each and every rep that I perform. Uh, breath is grounded as well. That's a benefit of yoga, just really focusing on breath control. I think that really carries over into these workouts as well. But uh, more than anything, kind of designing my training in a way that suits me, that suits my lifestyle best. Again, that comes down to the number of days per week that you hit your workouts. Again, I've had to cut it back a little bit because I've incorporated more yoga into my lifestyle. Again, summer months when I wanted to get it on the paddleboard more, do more bike and all that kind of stuff. You make adjustments based on your lifestyle. Again, it's all about living your life to the fullest um, in all aspects of your life. I live an active lifestyle. It's not all about just crushing the iron each and every day. Um, I find that if I'm training three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, doesn't necessarily make all that much of a difference uh, in regards to how my body develops. A lot of it is mindset. Like for some people, they love the stimulus of being in the gym frequently. So they love being in there five, six days per week just for the, the mental benefits that come from it. Uh, the extra days in the week doesn't necessarily translate into better muscle gains. It's just all for what suits you best, your personality best. And Again, designing my workouts in a way that allow me to cause the amount of um, muscle damage that's necessary, that providing my body with the stimulus necessary to um, spark that growth response to allow me to challenge my body uh, as best I can, and then scheduling in the recovery, like just structuring in enough of that uh, stimulus 
um, to cause the response, but also providing my body with an adequate amount of time to recover and not like overdoing the stimulus as well. So um, it's a delicate balancing act. It's a lot of listening to you. It's a lot, it's very individual as well. And again, it's very lifestyle dependent, making sure if you're not getting a quality amount of sleep, if you're under a lot of stress, you're not going to be able to handle um, the same kind of volume as someone else who's like getting an amazing amount of sleep um, and has minimal stress in their life. So there's all those things that you need to take into consideration. And again, designing your lifestyle in a way that's going to set you up for success. You don't want to say, I'm going to be in the gym seven days a week, two hours at a time. I'm going to do cardio every single day. Um, and then as soon as you can't keep up with that, you get down on yourself and I can't do this, um, throwing the towel all together when you just need to structure it in a way that's going to, again, set you up for success. So you can celebrate victories each and every day. If you notice that I did have, uh, right after the yoga practice, I came immediately here. I had 260 grams of coconut Greek yogurt along with some frozen mixed berries and a scoop of protein powder. I usually don't like to eat that close to a workout, but definitely needed that fuel in me. And it's not a heavy meal, so it wasn't sitting in my stomach, especially leg day. I usually like to give my, my stomach at least 90 minutes rest between a meal. But um, again, that was pretty light. The shake was light earlier, so um, it suited me really well. So I'm going to head home, and I am uh, I should be ready for my post-workout meal by the time I get there. After listening to Brian's Philosopher's Note on Discipline is Destiny by Ryan Holiday, I decided to download the audiobook, and I am absolutely loving it so far. Listen to it on on the way to the gym and on the way home. I'm a huge fan of Ryan Holiday's work. Stillness is the key is probably one of my favorites. He's got uh, ego is the enemy, the obstacle is the way. I love the Daily Stoic, just reading a daily passage each and every day. Um, just freaking phenomenal work. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Then on my way home, I performed an act of kindness in return uh, for the act of kindness that was expressed to me early this morning. So turning down my street, just driving by the marina, which you saw us walk by earlier this morning, I saw a dog just wandering around on its own. I'm like, that dog looks familiar. And I'm like, I think it's this, the dog that lives about six doors down from us. So I went knocking on the door. I'm like, is your dog home? He's like, yeah, he is. And then he's looking around he's like, oh my God, he's not. And so we drove right back down to the marina, which is just down the road here. Um, and he was kind of mingling with another dog there, which worked out fantastic. Uh, got him back in the car and back home safe and sound. And right now I am ready to dive into my post-workout meal. I've got four free range eggs from my friend's local farm, some mixed veggies in there, they're frozen veggies. I put them in the air fryer and some parchment paper. Uh, this time I tried 400 degrees for about 13 minutes. So the top looks a little bit maybe overcooked. I think I'm going to prefer it like 300, maybe 375 degrees uh, the next time around, but still looks absolutely delicious. In the bowl, a uh, two-third cup of oats, 140 grams frozen mixed berries, and some cinnamon sprinkled on top. Also got uh, five grams of creatine monohydrate in here. Again, you probably notice like all my supplements come from Nootropics Depot. I'll include a link down to them uh, down below. They are just the supplement company that I absolutely trust uh, 100%. They're very transparent uh, with their laboratory, the results that they, um, like they use testing measures that are above and beyond what you see uh, the industry standard out there. I think everyone should be held up to this kind of standard. So those are the supplements I use. And you notice that these are like the three same meals I have each and every day. I try to prepare them a little bit different here and there. Uh, but all in all, like these are meals that I absolutely love. So when I'm designing my lifestyle in a way that allows me to thrive, perform my best in all that I'm doing throughout the day, not just my workouts, the yoga, um, my walks, um, just having the energy to give the best of myself to the work that I'm doing to the people that I connect with. Just, again, having the energy to express the best version of myself. So that really comes from whole, natural, nutrient-rich foods uh, that really fuel this lifestyle. So again, the structure makes it simple and makes it mindless, but it's foods that I love. Foods that I am well aware provide my body with the nourishment it needs to be at its best. So we're really looking forward to diving into this. More footage coming up soon. It has been an incredibly productive afternoon. Got a boatload of work done. Now I'm about to head out for a walk in the woods with my furry homie chief. Check in on the owls. They were mating this past week. Uh, so it won't be too long before you see that mama owl sitting on the nest. Looking forward to getting out there. Hopefully share some footage with you. That was a beautiful walk through the woods. The owls are becoming more and more predictable. We know the areas of the forest to look out for them. They even have their favorite branches that they usually hang out on. And they are so predictable. 5.15, you can hear them hooting at each other in the shortly after the mating begins. Really hoping that they are successful again this year. Last year they had three owlets. So it'd be freaking awesome if we get to see three more grow up again this year. Um, just feeling so incredibly grateful for the opportunity to 
to observe these very elusive birds. Right now, I'm really looking forward to diving into my dinner here. I've got two pork cutlets that I pan fried in a little bit of butter. I got slapped on the wrist two weeks ago when I made this meal and I used Bissell margarine. Uh, the person who left the comment said it's damn close, like one step away from plastic, basically. So use butter instead. And I gotta tell you, I'm already feeling so much healthier because of this. <laughs> just, just kidding. Um, I really hardly ever use margarine or butter whatever, um, whatsoever. So um, it's really not gonna have that big of an impact on me either way. Then I've got some basmati rice, 45 grams of basmati rice that I cooked in a spicy Thai chicken broth. Uh, gives it some great flavor there. And then a red pepper that I diced up in there. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then uh, get on with the rest of my evening here and finish things off, wrap things up by sharing, just completing my daily routine. Like how I structure my lifestyle, how I design my lifestyle in a way to not only get lean and stay lean, but allow myself to thrive in all aspects of life and how you can do the exact same. It's 8.30, Cheeky Dog and I are getting ready to wind down for the day. Definitely gonna be in bed by nine o'clock. I received a comment recently from Chris who mentioned that, man, if you're up at 5.30, you must be in bed by 9.30 p.m. And he's absolutely correct. I mean, there's a lot of days I'm in bed just before nine o'clock. I absolutely love getting eight to eight and a half hours of sleep each and every night. I know for myself, that's what allows me to thrive, to give the best of myself to all that I'm doing throughout the day. Um, and really, this stage of my life, there's not a lot going on after nine o'clock. Anyways, I'm tired. Um, I might as well just go to bed and get a great sleep so I can live my life to the fullest tomorrow. So uh, total calories for the day ended up just over 2,300. That's a slight deficit for me. Um, after the holidays here, I'm just not feeling very hungry today. Um, definitely ate more than normal uh, throughout the holidays there, but never felt over full or overstuffed. Uh, just had a little bit more food than I normally would, uh, a few more drinks than I normally would, but uh, all in all really kept things in check. Just um, my maintenance level calories is about 2,600 to 2,700. I'm not going to force myself to hit that. I'm not going to force myself to be in a gentle surplus like I have been uh, throughout the year. I'm just going to roll with how I feel listening to my body right now. And this is really how I design my lifestyle in a way that keeps me lean throughout the year and allows me to enjoy uh, a holiday week like this where I can eat a little bit more than normal and it not really have that much of a negative impact on me. I can just bounce back really quickly by listening to my body the following days. Uh, afterwards here. So feeling great. And that is my day. This is how I have designed my lifestyle in a way that uh, allows me to thrive, to get lean, to stay lean, to just live my life to the fullest. It's going to look different to you. It's all about what is going to bring the greatest joy and pleasure to your life? What are the things that you want to incorporate into your day? Like what would your best day, best week look like? Do you love getting out for nature walks? How often can you do that throughout the week? Do you love weight training? How often can you do that intelligently throughout the week? Like where it's not going to be a stress or a burden on you, but it's going to bring out the best in you. Uh, do you want to work in some cardio throughout the week? And just, it's a matter of just kind of looking at all the different things that you want to incorporate that you uh, want to do to live your life to the fullest, to gain the greatest joy and pleasure from your life, uh, doing all the activities that you absolutely love, not doing anything that you necessarily dread or anything like that. You want to look forward to everything that you do. And it's just a matter of kind of looking at the week and going, all right, this is where I can fit in the weight training. This is where I can do some cardio. This is where I can do some yoga. Um, and again, with your nutrition, like structuring your nutrition, you see me with certain meals that I have frequently, uh, that dinner I have, like I said, every seven to 10 days, there's salmon. I'll have two to three times a week. I have go-to meals that just make it easy and effortless for me. Just designing my lifestyle in a way that fuels my body with the nutrients that allow me to perform my best in all that I'm doing throughout the day. So that's exactly what you should be doing for yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the alert button so notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.